Hello, welcome to iGame613 and today I want to talk about Pokemon Go. Now, I know quite a lot of YouTube channels are celebrating and putting Pokemon Go as their top videos at the moment. I know Ali A even, he has his second channel with Pokemon Go all over it. And tons of YouTubers, Twitch streamers, even streamy guys and all these people and literal general people in public as well, they all just go mental over Pokemon Go. Now, in the first week alone, when it was just out in Australia, the game was actually secretly looked into by foreign countries. So, UK, America, all these European countries everywhere in the, around the world, they were getting Australian accounts and downloading the game early. And in that first week, the game actually made $14 million. So, that is a lot of money. It's obviously a really good game for people who are enjoying it. But this channel will not feature any Pokemon Go other than this single video. Now this video will not actually contain any actual gameplay by myself. I'm yet to actually decide what video to put over this commentary. But as you can see it is the video I've put up. So if it is Pokemon Go gameplay by someone else then I hope you enjoy that content. Because you're not going to see it anymore in this channel. Basically I do not have any interest in this game whatsoever. I am... Um, Wowzered by the reception it's got. I didn't expect it to go as big as it did, but I can understand how people can get excited about it. But the main reason why I'm not going to put it on my channel is a couple actually. First of all, I don't think it is actually that much of an interesting game myself, and I cannot see myself enjoying playing it. It takes way too, way too much time out of your day, and I literally do not have that. I like to run my YouTube channel, which I do right now like this, and I also have a job, so if I have to go to my job, that usually goes from the morning, so as soon as I wake up, I'm getting ready for work, getting out to work, and then I come home, I go on my PlayStation for a bit, maybe I'll edit a video or something, and then after that it'll be bedtime, and then again, the next day, wake up, go to work, do the same over and over again. Now, yeah, I do have a couple of days off, but I don't be wasting them days off running around the town looking for little digital Pokemon. And I think it's a little bit tedious, to be honest, for adults to be doing this kind of stuff. Now, as for kids, yes, I can see why they'd enjoy it. Back when I was a kid, Pokemon cards were a big thing. Again, I didn't actually buy any of them Pokemon cards, but the kids in the street did actually enjoy them. And I actually got a huge stack of them myself. Because I think a neighbour gave us a couple of cards, like about 10 cards or something. And there were, some of them were pretty good ones, I believe. Because we managed to trade them up for a huge, big, bloody stack, about 60 centimetres tall. Which, considering it's just a little bit of card, that is quite a lot of cards from about 10. So, we did quite, do quite well on that. The cards were about 3 quid for a pack for about 10 as well, so... <laughs> we did quite a good job there, I think. But basically... I do not have any interest in the game. I can understand how kids can enjoy it. But I don't think it's actually safe enough these days for kids to be going out in the streets with phones and stuff. And that brings me to another point about it. Because people are saying that people are getting angry about it. Because it's making kids go out and get hurt and whatever. Or it could make them get into danger. Which I totally agree with. But these people are saying, well, you whinge about kids staying in all day on consoles and playing games. But then when they go outside and play a game, then you go and moan at them. But that's not the reason. The reason why people are moaning about it is because they're going outside with these games that they're playing all day. And whether they're playing a game inside or outside, that's not the issue. It's the fact that they're playing a game. And it's just taking away their childhood. Now, personally, I think kids should play games. I don't see any bad qualities against it. So... If they're playing games inside, then that's their choice. It's what I actually did for most of my childhood. So I can relate to that quite a lot. But people are going on about it like it's something good. And it's like it's a good thing. But no. You're putting kids in the street with like hundreds of dollars and pounds worth of phones. And they're just getting them nicked off them. Or it's getting them in danger or whatever. Or getting loaded to pedophiles or whatnot. And that's all I can see happening here. And it's just a sad situation, really, considering that it could actually be a really good thing. But, sadly, the world isn't as nice and daisy as people like to think it is. So, that is another bad point about the game. Also, the thing that's really pissing me off about this game 
is the reception people are putting towards it. They are saying, wow, this is the first game of its kind. And all this kind of shit. It's like, whatever, fuck off, guy. It's a AR-based game, and it's been around for a long time. Now, the first proper game I ever played that used AR in a different way than just using the background as your real life, and it's just a game overlaid over the top of it, was Fribish Essays on PS Vita. Now, I'm sure there's quite a few more before that game, but basically, Fribish Essays, which I hope I've got some gameplay up of that now, basically that game had, like, a thing where it get, where it's like Simon Says, if you know the game Simon Says, where if Simon says to do something, you do it. If he doesn't, then you don't. Well, this game, Fribish Essays, is exactly that, but on a PS Vita. Now... The thing with that is, I think that's a pretty cool idea and it's pretty awesome because it was like, Frobisher say, and it did this proper cool voice as well, Frobisher says, find the fun! And you literally tap on the little fun on the screen and then this little crocodile pops out of it and then it goes, find something blue! And then you literally use the camera on the PS Vita to find something blue in your house and then you shine a light, you shine a light on it to make it light up because the PS Vita's camera's a bit shit to be honest and then it goes, correct but you actually didn't do it because Frobisher didn't say to do it so then you'd fail the game but if he said Frobisher says find something blue then you'd have won that mission and round whatnot so it's kind of cool in that way it's not just that it's also, it's also like a little bird that flies around you and you have to move the PS Vita around to point up to the sky or whatnot to actually find the bird so I think that type of game is the better type of AR game that we can do in these days because we don't want kids running around the streets with bloody phones or whatnot and getting fucking mugged, getting held at knife point in the freaking infancy of the life. And I find that quite disturbing that some kids could actually get mentally scarred just because there's one little game that wanted to play that's going to be popular for, what, the best of one month at most. Maybe some kids will extend it to two or three months, but YouTubers, they will not be doing this game for a long time. I can tell you that these guys at YouTube do 10 times more work than I do on my channel and I do tons of work on mine so they have not got the time to put play in this game they do not have any way to do it if they do then I'd like to know their bloody secret because I find it quite hard to work a job and a YouTube channel at the same time and the amount of work I put into my YouTube channel which I only get about what about four hours a day maximum to work on it is just too much and it's well, it's not too much actually it's about right but then these guys they put up like four or five videos every day and i do like one every three days some days i put like four up but it'll literally i'll literally have none for the rest of the week because i don't like to schedule me it's just something if you make a video upload like, straight away if long as long as you're happy with it but yeah so I don't see why people are getting so excited about the game. I think it's a silly idea to have kids running around the street. If you have games like Frobisher Says where you can play inside or outside, it doesn't really matter where you play it, then that's a lot better because it gives parents the choice of saying, okay, yeah, you can play outside with your Vita. If you get nicked, then that's my problem for letting you do it. But games like Pokemon Go is telling you you have to go outside and to bloody hatch the eggs on the game as well. Apparently you have to walk like stupid distances like I believe my friend said you have to walk 6 kilometers for one of them and 10 kilometers for another and it's like what the fuck <laughs> and I'm just like what the fuck is going on with this shit and that is basically it that's all I can say about the game a lot of it on my channel I'm sorry if you were looking forward to content on Pokemon Go but I basically cannot be doing with it myself I thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed the video please leave a like it helps the channel grow I hope you look forward to some more GTA mystery hunting. I'm going to be doing some on the very close times to the future. I also have a big video coming up of basically unmodded versus modded on the uh, new cars that came out with the, uh, what's it called, the Cunning Stunts DLC. So, I hope you look forward to that. And basically, I am done with this video. Thank you very much for watching again. Goodbye and have a nice day.